What better way to start off the year of Luigi than with a sequel to a GameCube classic? That's exactly what Nintendo did, providing a hilarious, cleverly constructed, must-have title for a Nintendo 3DS. As you can expect, Luigi is back in contact with Professor Egad, this time to recover the pieces of the Dark Moon that keeps ghosts calm and collected in Evershade Valley, a landscape that holds not just one mansion, but four mansions. Although these mansions are smaller, Luigi's ghostbusting adventure is much longer than his last, and the environments are more varied because of them. In general, this game looks awesome, from the smoothly animated graphics to the reflective touches on the windows and ice. The developers' ambitions with the graphics in the game were extremely high, even looking a bit rough at times because of how detailed they wanted Dark Moon to look. The 3D effect in this game is especially notable. Not only does it add depth to the graphics, it makes ghostbusting and collecting easier. Just like the last game, the spooky soundtrack is short, but it's catchy, and that's okay, because the rest of the game sounds amazing. Charles Martinet's performance as Luigi is fantastic. He really makes Luigi sound like a coward. I also really enjoyed the sound effects in the game. I always look forward to catching the boos and hearing Luigi answer Egad's calls. It's also nice that Egad has more dialogue this time around. The well done presentation of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon sets an excellent foundation for gameplay. Similar to the last game, Dark Moon's gameplay consists of a combination of action, adventure, and puzzles. You control Luigi using the circle pad and aim with the X and B buttons or the gyroscope. For those who are worried about the lack of a second analog, don't panic. I personally found the buttons to be more easier to use, as it took less time to line up my shots. This didn't mean the game was easy though. You'll encounter a variety of ghosts that will trip you up with their various defenses and attacks. There will be many cases where you come across multiple ghosts too, and it can feel a bit overwhelming at times. However, with practice, you'll manage to learn how to battle around them. It's nice that the vacuum can actually suck up multiple ghosts now. One thing I did notice though is that there's less original ghosts, which is a disappointment. The gameplay fortunately doesn't suffer because of this, as the objectives of the game change up often, from looking for a happy polter pup to rescuing an equally as adorable toad. You'll actually advance through the mansions by going through missions, which I wasn't really fond of as they felt restrictive in nature and failed to increase gameplay portability. Dark Moon turns out to be more refreshing and complex than the last game due to the dark light device, which allows Luigi to reveal illusions hidden from the player's sight. You'll find yourself constantly analyzing and toying with the environment to figure out what is missing. It's surprising how much is packed into every area in the game. Each room is brimming with cash, jewels, and yes, booze too, just waiting to greet you with their cheesy welcomings. The puzzles will prove to be extremely clever, switching things up when you least expect it. Which is great, but if you're like me, you'll come across a few of the puzzles stumped, resulting in excessive searching, which made the gameplay grow frustrating and tiring at times. The bosses are at their best when they aren't wasting their time being repetitive and throwing a bunch of familiar ghosts at you. Other than that, I didn't enjoy the balance beam segments, as the gyroscope controls were way too sensitive. Dark Moon brilliantly manages to bring the single player experience to local and online multiplayer in the mode Scare Scraper, a mode which groups four players together to compete and cooperate to obtain keys, suck up ghosts, and find the exit before time runs out. It's a thrilling experience, and the various traps and power-ups such as the rug and dresser keep things interesting, encouraging everyone to run for those red coins and to help out their group. The experience is at its best when players don't drop out of the game. It took a while, but Shigeru Miyamoto has finally let his concept flourish in a sequel that succeeds over the original with the addition of 3D, five varied mansions, the dark light device, and a fun multiplayer mode. Although you might stumble across a few bumps along the adventure, you'll finish the game remembering how creative the puzzles were, the battles were, and Luigi's hilarious reactions. Don't miss out on a 3DS exclusive that is sure to entertain and surprise. Thanks for checking out my review. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. I'll have a new review up next week. Until then, see ya!